Please reload. Please reload. There's like nine enemies up here. All right. All right. Well, ooh, burst. Oh, this has burst. Bro, how is this still an issue on this game? This is one of the biggest issues this game had at launch. Ew. All right, and welcome back, guys. We got a brand new season here in Vanguard, meaning we got brand new weapons to test out. Starting off at tier 15 in the Battle Pass, you unlock this new AR, the KG M40. We're going to be leveling this up so we can do our Dark Aether in one game, potentially later tonight on stream if you want to check that out. I actually really like the class setup I have for this. When I first started using it, I wasn't a huge fan, but uh, I don't know. The class setup I got for it seems to be working really well. Pro tip, if you've bought the Battle Pass and you're leveling this weapon up, I don't know why. We've got 45 levels with it. I wasn't using the new operator. The new operator favorite weapon is the KG M40, meaning you're gonna be leveling up the weapon faster while using this. I probably could have already had this sucker maxed out, but I wasn't being smart with that. And on top of that, let's go ahead and drop 45 minutes of double weapon XP. And you know what, we'll level up a little bit faster, seeing how the battle pass is mostly XP tokens. I'm gonna to spam a ton of these because if you watched our battle pass review, they just stuffed in as many tokens as they possibly could. Shipment is not an option for us today, so I guess up close and personal is going to be our best bet let's go ahead go to core uh-huh change it to blitz hardcore up close and personal all right here we are in game let's see what this baby has to offer not gonna lie it's definitely a weird looking ar then again most weapons from world war ii ar wise do look a little bit different than what we're used to in standard call of duty and yes i'm playing on hardcore one because you just level it up a little bit quicker and i don't know for some reason i prefer hardcore and vanguard it's not like the time to kill is much different the normal core time to kill is not much different than hardcore i i just i just seem to ultimately end up performing this and of course we're going to start off getting wrecked i do like dome though dome is a great map to be on i wish they would add dome into the the rotation i'd love a shipment dome to house playlist or honestly i'd rather have dome over to house like a dome uh, a ship dome i dude i would love a ship dome i would take a ship dome ah uh, but i don't know i'm not a big fan when they take out the playlist i know they don't want people playing on small mops all the time but bro if i just like playing shipment why can't i just play shipment like i wouldn't even complain if the next call of duty came out modern warfare 2 shipment and it like legitimately the only map it had on disc was shipment I would be a thousand percent okay with that. Like I'm okay with only ever playing shipment. I don't want variety. I just want different forms of shipment. And that's one thing I didn't really care for when World War II, uh, when they were talking about this game with the promotional stuff and they're like, we're launching with 16 different maps. I was like, bro, that's a terrible thing. That's 16 maps that aren't shipment. So now I've got a one in 16 chance of playing shipment once it's added, like nah. The least, the, the more little the amount of maps the game has on launch, the better chance you have of getting the good maps is what I've realized. So I would rather this game have launched with like four maps. Dome, shipment, and to house. Because quality is always better over quantity. And the maps in this game aren't bad, but I dislike the maps because it makes it harder for me to get to get shipment. And that that's the only reason. But uh, yeah, this lobby isn't too great. So let's fast forward to a better one. Oh, okay. But yeah, like I was saying, I really didn't like this weapon at first. I saw a lot of people in videos were like, yo, best AR in the entire game. And when I first started using it, I'm like, bro, this thing sucks. And then I got, I got some better attachments on it. It does get a lot better, especially the magazine size. I hated the small amount of magazines it came with. I actually really enjoy the attachments I have on it now, even though it seems to be every single game I join, I'm getting demolished. I promise. Ugh, probably because we were actually doing really good last night before we got off. We were using this on stream and it was actually frying. But uh, yeah, clearly this lobby is not going to be quite our thing either. Dude, 48. All right. But yeah, I, I'm at the end of this video, I'll for sure have all my attachments listed. I'm more excited to test out the new LMG. After we get the Dark Aether in one game done for this, we're going to move on to the new LMG. And I legitimately think that is going to be meta changing in multiplayer and zombies. It's probably going to be the best LMG in zombies and actually kind of compete with the shotguns. It's not going to be as good as the shotguns, but it might be an alternative when you're not wanting to own to only you shot dude can i get a good lobby all right i'm gonna regret this here we are on core let's give it a test on core i've also changed it up this is gonna have a little bit more recoil but it's gonna do a little bit more damage and have a little bit more fire rate so let's see if we can control this and this is kind of what i like on core is you know that extra damage that extra Woo, okay oh uh, yeah at longer ranges i'm feeling the kick a little bit but honestly especially for shipment this setup would not be too bad Ooh. Ooh, okay, this I so that's what I'm saying. The difference between time to kill and core and hardcore. Uh, why am I putting down an ammo crate? Oh, okay, there's enemies all over. Please reload. Please reload. There's like nine enemies up here. All right, and go. Oh, they're gone. 
But like I was saying, the time to kill difference between core and hardcore is not much difference. Like it, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot less noticeable in this game. I'm liking this setup. Oh, this is actually the setup I'm gonna put at the end of the game, not the other one. This one, this one's fire. This one's definitely a core setup though, not a hardcore setup. Cause uh, I would not want this much recoil in a hardcore. But yeah, for shipment, this this might actually do pretty pretty decent. Uh, but the thing is, it's only like level 50. I what what is this game max out like 60, 69, some weird level? I forever get the max level in this game. But we ah ah we got a ways to go. Where's he at? All right, we'll just nope 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 nope. Always always throwing the grenade, dude. Oh my god, please. There we go. All right, and I mean, this isn't the biggest map ever, but like usually when I make class setups, I don't make weapon classes for big maps because I played to small maps. And unfortunately, if you are a big map enjoyer, if you're one of those, um, I don't know the abbreviation for that. If you, if you like the big maps, you like them a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Unfortunately, my class setups might not be quite geared towards you because I, I yeah, 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 I'm gonna end that one here. Okay, so yeah, I they still haven't fixed the issue, bro. I, Engineer still lets you see friendly dogs through the wall and it scares the crap out of me every time. One, I still have a weird reaction every time I hear enemy dogs inbound because if you grinded for the rocket launchers and you've got the dog kill streak 30 times for the Panzerfrost, yeah, every time you hear enemy dogs inbound or just dogs in general, you see them on the map, you freak out a little bit because that was my life for a week and a half. But uh, I, yeah, how has that not been fixed? Seeing enemy dogs through the wall is super duper annoying. But yeah, th this weapon's growing on me a lot. I, I really started off not liking this, but now, now, uh, yeah, I feel like all the people saying this thing's kind of OP and crazy. I mean, it's making a little bit more sense when I take it into core. It, it all right, it, it shines a little bit. I, I, it actually, it actually puts up a little bit of a fight here. I think it's just the coordination of getting the right attachments. And it's really like, I kind of like the different attachment system because it's hard to do attachment guides because different play styles attend to different attachments. I like to rush. So my attachment style is not, oh dude, look at my aim. Don't you just love when you run your recording and you you manage to miss every single shot on an enemy? Yeah, let's uh, let's let's pretend like we're gonna cut that out, but not actually cut that out because I know for a fact I'm not going to. But uh, yeah, different uh, different attachment styles definitely lend to different play styles. So all the class setups I give are more for like close maps, rushing, not like long range engagement. Obviously, when going for long shots, I'll switch up the weapon a little bit. And I was doing really good before I started recording this segment, guys. I promise, I was I was actually not doing bad. But there's an effect as soon as I hit the record button, all of a sudden I lose all my ability to walk and play a game. Not like I had much to begin with, so uh, it, it doesn't turn. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies over here. Turn, 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 corner. Where? Okay, where'd they go? Not over here. Oh, oh, no, still missing. Here we go. Yeah, 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 that was embarrassing. We're going to skip that. All right, here we go. It is now level 69. Yes, we purposely stopped here. Let's see what the additional challenges are. So as you guys know, once you level up the gun, the last three challenges are kind of annoying because they have you use different sets of attachments so i've started working on the headshots so the first one here is headshots what is next after that close range kills with the 50 round drum mag is the 22g padded stock i see i feel like this would be a little bit more efficient if there was a way to just auto equip these attachments i would love that even though i've already got most of my weapons gold so it's not going to help me just for the sake of everyone else grinding this game to be able to like have a button here that's auto equip these attachments or even just up here so we need the vdd 390 millimeter barrel okay oh hey we already got that on that's the barrel i like then what else do we need um we need the 50 round drum mags easy peasy uh i think it's this one did it say eight millimeter rounds Ooh, which one did it say there's two different ones uh eight millimeter yeah okay so now we got to get close range kills with this and luckily we are super close to maxing this out which means we should be ready for our dark aether in one game tonight and i'm i'm excited to see how this performs in zombies because this is performing better than i originally thought it was in, in mp i was kind of harsh on it when it first came out boom rank 33 all right the close range kills are super simple i remember when the game launched and these were point blank ranges and uh yeah a lot of people were complaining about them and then boom, immediately it got switched from point blank to close range. And just about every, like, dude, close range are so easy, especially on shipment. Unfortunately, not able to play that outright. The only thing I have an issue with are long shots. I hate long shots. I wish they would have made those easier. Point blanks were pretty easy, even before the nerf. Like, you get all of them done in one or two games. Like, even in Cold War, like, people didn't like the SMG point blanks. You need 75 of them. It took, like, two, three games to get them all. You can get 40, 50 a game as long as you set up your class right. Whereas long shots, 
Yeah, depending on the map you're playing, depending on the enemy playstyle. Like, if enemies rush this playstyle, we get them done really quickly. But uh, enemies don't always do that. And I hate just sitting. Like, I guess it's also my playstyle. I love to rush, so point blanks are easy. I don't like just sitting in a corner. And long shots legitimately promote people to just sit in the back of the map and just... <sighs> the whole game. We should be getting this to level 70 at any point in time. And I really would like to see what the final challenge unlock is. So, oh, there it is. There's 70. You know, let's just go ahead and back out. Let's see what we got to do for the final set. So we've got headshots, which is easy. I'm going to wait for, oh, connecting to online services. All right, here we go. What is the final camo challenge set we have here? And it's long range kills, of course. So we need the Nelson 515 barrel. All right. Well, ooh, burst. Oh, this has burst. Oh, no. Okay. The 20 round drums. Okay. Okay, dude. I, I, I want to see how this works with, uh, wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. 0 0.306. Uh, that doesn't exist. That actually doesn't exist. Bro, how is this still an issue on this game? This is one of the biggest issues this game had at launch. So many weapons did not have the proper attachments they tell you to use. Like, they were just completely bugged out. Our type rows all over the place. And here we are, three months later, with new weapons. They just had to proofread one of the new weapons and the attachments on it. And I, I'm assuming they want us to use the, the 50 round drums. I hope so. If not, I guess this is impossible. But yeah, that attachment right there does not, uh, does not exist. And this is my biggest, like, the thing is, if these worked properly, I wouldn't mind them forcing us to use random three attachments. But the fact that so many of the weapons are bugged and new DLC weapons are also coming out straight broken. This weapon is... Hopefully it's just a typo and we can still do it. But at this point, bro, I want them just to remove the, the, the kills with three attachments. Like if it worked properly, cool, that's great. I'll use the three attachments. But being having to try to figure out what they mean when there's just a bunch of typos or the attachment that they want you to use doesn't exist is kind of ridiculous three months into a game's life cycle. All right, sweet, we got dome. Dome's actually perfect for long shots. So that's, oh, I forgot, it's burst. We put a burst attachment on this. I'm, I'm interested to see how burst fire does on this. So as long as we get one long shot, we can see if the using the 20 round or the 50 round instead of the 20 round works in its place. Hopefully it does, because if not, you physically won't be able to grind this out. That's my biggest hope for Modern Warfare 2019 is that the camos just properly work like and there's no question about. OK, it says this attachment. Oh, my God, there's a delay in the burst. There is. There's a delay on this when you pull the trigger and the bullets come out of the gun and it's noticeable. Woo! Long shots with this attachment are going to be fun. Bro, the delay is so bad. Um, maybe we just got to adjust to it. I mean, it's only 100 long shots. We'll be able to do it. Oh my God, the delay. Whew. I think that was a long shot. So at the end of this game, we'll know for sure. Um, Come on. Nope, there we go. No, 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 Ah, I like Dome though. Dome is extremely good for getting long shots. And this is one of the reasons I wish, well, so, so it, so is Shipment or so is uh, the house, the house also really good for long shot. Oh, God dang it. God dang it. So we've got one long shot. We'll be able to test out if this is a fixable bug or if this is something we've got to wait for an update. That, that's one thing about zombies. Oh, oh my God. Okay. The burst kind of sucks, but as long as the enemies are spawning directly in front of you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I would way rather have this thing full auto. I can tell you right now, once we're done with the long shots, I am taking off this burst attachment. Oh, a thousand percent. Ah, okay. Penetration kill. And this means now when we do Dark Aether in one game in Zombies, we will have all the attachments and we'll be able to use straight up the best attachment set possible, which I am excited for. So I'm going to go ahead, wait till this game's over, and we're going to see if there is a workaround for these broken attachments. All right, boys, moment of truth. Did it count? There we go. So yes, using the different type of drum mag actually does count. So it is possible to get an atomic even though 
it is bugged out and does not read properly okay so let's go back to what i consider to be the best class setup for this trust me it is not these burst attachments i like this rapid barrel this is really good for rushing and i was using the eight millimeter actually no i was i was actually using these drum mags towards the end this is mainly the class i was using i change up the site a little bit as we go same thing the stock has changed a few times because they make you use different stocks for the thing so we'll switch this back to this one but uh, overall, let me get rid of the face cam. We've got the M9 flash hider, the VDB barrel. The optic is honestly whatever you choose. I was using this because we're going for long shots, but a lot of times I'll run the iron sights for it. So if I was going to make this class now, I'd probably slap on those iron sights. Then we've got this stock. We've got this under barrel. We got the bottom magazine. We got the lightened ammo for hardcore mainly. Uh, we got this grip on it. We got the brace, which, uh, yeah, I like the brace on it. And then we've got surplus as the kit, but this is really up to what you want. I might actually switch this to fully loaded, depending on what we're doing. But yeah, this is a class setup. And if you rush with this and use this as a rushing weapon, it's actually pretty good at the end of the day. But now it is time to take this into zombies and get Dark Aether in only one game, which we should be doing on live stream tonight. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who can't Twitch sub, are a YouTube member and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, gotta get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.